Bracketing in photography is a practice that photographers will use, especially in, in challenging light situations where they will underexpose and overexpose to the original shot um, so that um, they can have a great chance of that shot coming out the, the, the best that they need it. So as I said, you will either, you will take your original shot and you will underexpose and overexpose. Your camera, um, it, if certain cameras you've all, you've got a button. I've got one on here called AEB, which is automatic exposure bracketing, and this camera will take those shots above, uh, overexposed and underexposed from the original shot for me. So for example, if you are at the beach on a sunny day and you've got a lot of bright light, your camera may be fooled into thinking that the whole of the image is going to be overexposed and so it will mm -hmm. take an image that's uh, darker than you want. Mm -hmm. So by using the AEE bu AEB button, automatic exposure bracketing, or by overexposing and underexposing, you've got a chance of that beach shot coming out just as you want it to. And this works conversely when the surroundings are too dark as well. So the best settings for bracketing are uh, make sure that your ISO is set quite low. So if it's a bright day, set it at 50 or 100. If you're shooting indoors with some natural light, then maybe try 400 or 800. Because bracketing photography takes it includes taking multiple shots, I wouldn't recommend using bracketing when you're taking shots of fast moving um, action photography like sports or wildlife that's moving really fast. You will need a tripod for exposure bracketing. This will line up, especially if you're in a landscape shot, um, a tripod will line up your landscape shot and you won't be moving the camera in between the shots to reset it so you will be a, have much better chance when you come back in um, for your post-processing workflow to be a lot more smoother. Lightroom does do bracketing. There is um, an option within Lightroom Classic that lets you merge multiple bracketed e exposure images into a HDR single image. So I will put a link, an affiliate link for Adobe um, Creative Cloud, which Lightroom is part of, in the description. If you like the video, please do subscribe, like the video, share it, and I'll see you in the next one.